Welcome back to what's new. Only three days are left now until Cleveland Clinic's Velisano bike ride to raise money for cancer research. And riding this year, a young man whose dreams of serving in the Navy were cut short by cancer. Lindsey Buckingham has his inspiring story. Biking is about getting to where you want to go. But as 22-year-old John Paul Chaloup knows, sometimes the path to your dreams... It was always this, like, type of pain like I hadn't felt before. ...takes you down a different road. On a nightly basis, I would get an ice bag to calm the swelling. Fresh off graduation from St. Ignatius High School in 2017, John Paul left home. A lot of my interest in service was sparked specifically by the Naval Academy in Annapolis. He'd begin his life of service at the Naval Academy Prep School in Rhode Island. A dream coming true until a nagging high school basketball injury caught up with him just a few weeks into basic training. Once you get there, there's just a ton of running and training that you gotta do, and almost immediately, like I felt it start to flare up again. For months, he pushed through. Nothing would stop his dreams, except for this. Got an x-ray, and you know what ultimately ended up being the tumor was, was found on the x-ray. 18 years old, diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. He got the news alone in his room. Got the call. Um, was excited for some good news and did not get what I was hoping for. John Paul came back to Cleveland. His parents terrified, but him? No, didn't. I couldn't let myself think, think like that. Even when reality presented itself. It's a very serious diagnosis, life-threatening. Or when he was in danger of losing the leg that got him through basic training. He was about as close as you can get. He never gave up. Neither did his orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Lucas Nystrom of the Cleveland Clinic. So we basically had something that looked almost identical to this. That was a donor from somebody who had passed away and then cut in a, an identical matching piece to what the defect we just created in John Paul's bone. Surgery saved his leg. I talked to Dr. Nystrom. We, we developed a good plan because um, my intention was to want to go back to the Naval Academy. It wasn't to be. Ultimately, wasn't able to be granted a waiver to kind of bypass the Navy's five-year cancer-free requirement. A different road, but a grateful one that led him to John Carroll University. I'm going to graduate in December, double majored in economics and finance. With those Navy dreams still on the horizon, enter the Navy and commission as an officer through Officer Candidate School, which is up in Newport, Rhode Island. That's an option for me to apply to that. Now, he's on the bike, raising money for cancer warriors at Velisano. So there's some parallels in why I originally wanted to serve in the military, because I wanted to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. He's not sure where he's going, but he knows he'll get there. I just want to be satisfied and feeling like I'm on the right path, and I feel like I am on that path doing something that I enjoy, and I have options, which is something that I didn't have for a while, and that's something I'm grateful for. Lindsey Buckingham, 3 News. Lindsay, thanks for that story. Uh, what an incredible young man. Great news, too. John Paul's health is fantastic. And here's something else. The very surgeon who saved John Paul's leg was his riding buddy in the 2019 Velisano ride. The two remain close to this day. Mm -hmm. We have all the details on how you can donate on WKYC.com. What a story. It's